Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a special tutorial in which we will be covering login or sign in with phone number. So before moving to that, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please make sure you like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon as well. Now coming back to the main content, I will tap on the phone or the provider. I will toggle this enable button and tap on save. We have enabled our phone authentication on Firebase. Here you have to read this message. We can only send 10 OTP SMS to phone numbers uh, in this free project setup. To increase this quota, you need to add a billing account to this project. So make sure you keep this in mind. And now come to the Android configuration part. Here I will select this Android app and I need to enter these SHA certificate fingerprints. Let's add this fingerprint. I will open my terminal and I will paste this command to generate my SHA keys. And here this is SHA1 that I will copy and I will paste it here and tap on save. Now come to the SHA256. I will copy that as well and I will paste this as well. The system has auto detected the SHA256 and I will tap on save. Our Android configurations has been completed. We can implement our functionality on Android, but for iOS, we need to uh, do some additional steps like we need to add an extra provider, which is the Google sign in. We will enable it and we also need to pass a support email here and then save it. Uh, that's an extra step for iOS only. Uh, when this is enabled, what we need to do is we need to uh, re-download this Google services.info uh, plist file and we need to add it in our iOS project just like we added it during the project setup. Uh, now our Firebase config configurations has been completed. Now let's set up our uh, app for iOS. For Android, it has been completed already. For iOS, what I will do, I will open this iOS in Xcode. So after I open this Xcode, I have previously added this Google services info file. So I will add the uh, latest file here. I will remove this one and I will add the latest file that I have just downloaded. And I will add a new file to the runner. So add file to the runner. I will go to downloads and Google services info.plist and now we have this updated file here here this is the reverse client ID that we need for iOS so I will copy it and what I will do I will go to a runner inside the info uh, I have already created this URL scheme so uh, make sure you create a new one here from by tapping this plus and what you need to do you have to just enter this URL scheme that uh, I have updated now You won't have this so you can add a new one So you have to create this URL type for iOS as well and now our setup for iOS has been completed now let's come to the uh, our app I will stop this application and I will start it again. Uh, uh, before uh, it starts, let's discuss the UI part a bit. We have this login screen, uh, then we have this OTP screen and the home screen. On the login screen, we have just this uh, header text which is phone authentication. Then we have this text field where we enter our phone number and we have created this phone controller to take value from that uh, text field for phone number we have this hint text into phone and then we have this uh, sign in button as well where we will implement our functionality for or to for otp i will tap on this sign in button this is our otp screen and uh, let's see what i've added i've added this uh, text uh, that we have sent an otp to a phone we have this text field we are passing this otp controller here to take value for OTP and here on verify we will be implementing our functionality let's come back to this login screen and here uh, what we need to do uh, here whenever 
this uh, sign in button is tapped we will use the firebase auth plugin sorry firebase auth we will create an instance of that plugin and uh, what we will do we will uh, call this method verify phone number here inside this uh, verify phone number we will pass these arguments we, we have four callback functions and one other we have this phone number we will pass our phone number that we will take from the phone controller that we have created and we will use this text property to get the value then we have these four callback functions that are called whenever an event triggers uh, like uh, whenever our verification is automatically completed like auto retrieval of OTP is done that you may have seen in many apps so this callback is going to be triggered uh, so I will implement this uh, callback we won't be using this for this tutorial and whenever our verification fails so this callback is triggered we need to handle this as well we are returned an error in the arguments that we will log to the console to find out what went wrong so I will uh, log it to the console this is uh, the important callback function in which we have return uh, we have been returned verification id and force the sending token code sent is triggered whenever the code is sent to our phone number so here we have this verification id that we use for verifying our otp and this is used rarely for the sending token uh, that is used to resend the otp if in case your phone has not received the otp or it has been expired so this code sent is the ideal uh, place where we we need to navigate to the OTP screen because the code has been sent to the phone. So what we will do, we will uh, copy this navigator dot push and we will enter it here. We need to navigate to OTP screen in this in this phase. Then we have the code auto retrieval timeout as the name indicates. If uh, auto retrieval is timed out, so we need to add a message here auto retrieval time out and uh, we are done here on the uh, login screen but we need to add one more thing we need to pass this verification id to this otp screen so that when we enter our own otp so we compare these uh, with the help of this verification id we will be uh, verifying our otp so I will I am going to receive it in the argument it is a string argument and it is the name of verification ID I will make it a required parameter of verification ID and now here I will pass this verification ID which is sorry let's remove this const and this is the verification ID that we have been returned whenever the code is sent to our phone so we will pass it to the OTP screen and that will be used to verify our OTP that we have entered. We are done on the uh, login part. Now let's go to the OTP screen. We have received this verification ID and it is uh, sent, it is given to us whenever the OTP is sent to our phone. And now uh, here we will be verifying our OTP. Let's remove the to do, make a try catch block, catch error if any happens something may goes wrong so here i will just log it to the console in case anything goes wrong if everything is good to go uh, so here what i will do uh, i will create the credentials for phone auth so create a variable cred and here i will create a phone auth credential phone auth provider dot credential and these credentials are going to be created using the verification id that we have received from the login screen so i will put it here and here the sms code will be the one we are we will be entering through the interface so that we will get from the otp controller dot text and we have created the credentials for verification and now uh, we will sign in with these credentials so I will use the Firebase auth dot instance dot sign in with credential. Here I will pass these credentials for phone authentication. Um, 
in case everything goes well we will navigate to the we will use the navigator dot push sorry there is something wrong in spelling navigator dot push and we will move to the add material page route and to add this builder method here i will return the home screen so in case everything uh, goes well we will be navigated to the home screen it's time to test our uh, functionality let's come back to this login screen and now let's test on the phone enter your phone number i will enter my phone number uh, here you make sure that you enter your phone number with your country code prefix if you won't enter that so firebase won't be able to send you sms so make sure you add this thing i have added plus 92 for my pakistan country code so make sure you add for your own and then tap on the sign in button now uh, the firebase is doing captcha verification here i am not a robot i am not a robot yes the verification has been done and now we will be sent an otp you may have heard the sms i have received and i will enter the otp here which is 179 and 867 let's tap on the verify button and see what happens yes our user has been signed in using phone number now let's come to the firebase here you can see our user has been created and signed in using phone number now to make a bit of a uh, user friendly experience uh, let's restart our app and uh, here i will add a loader whenever this button is tapped for a better experience so what i will do here in the log here on the login screen i will create a boolean variable is loading and i will set it to false by default and whenever the button is tapped what we are going to do is uh, we will be calling set state method and we will be updating the state of this boolean to true so that we indicate a loader whenever the button is tapped this will be a wait and uh, whenever the code is sent here what we will be doing that we will uh, call set state and remove the loader we will set it to false so we will be showing a loader here using this is loading variable if it is set to true I will show a circular progress indicator here otherwise the button will be shown so uh, let's try it now and uh, similar for OTP we need to add a is loading variable here as well so we will add is loading default set to false and whenever the button is tapped so uh, we will set it to uh, is loading set state is loading to true so that the uh, circular progress indicator comes and our uh, uh, our ui updates and the loader is shown here i will call this set state again and i will also set it to false and here i will do the same is loading and there will be circular progress indicator here so our year will look pretty much better here uh, also uh, let's put it down here so that in case of error it also removes this loader so now now if i try i will enter my phone number with country code notation and i will tap on sign in and you can see here's the loader captcha verification and let's see after it is completed we will be navigated to the otp screen here and we have received the otp let's enter that otp which is 592 and 164 when i tap on this verify button the loader is showing and what is verifies our user has been signed in so that's it for today's video in the upcoming videos i will be covering some uh, database operations and there is pretty much interesting things to come uh, so stay tuned thank you goodbye